In this video, I'm gonna show you how to run the wire for your new three-way switch. Well, three-way switches are not new in the world and they're required by code in some situations. But in a lot of cases, if you're renovating your house, you're getting open concept. That's the thing nowadays. So whenever you have an open concept, you're gonna reduce the opportunities for light switches and you're gonna make it rather awkward to have to go turn the lights on and off unless you run a three-way switch. So what you wanna do is you wanna have a switch on each side of the room so you can control the light as you're coming and going over a large area space. The way we do that is simple. We have two different boxes at each end of the room and you run a regular 14-2 wire, which is your power supply up to the first box. This is where everybody gets it wrong. They run at 14-2 to the second box. And that's when they try to wire the switch and they go, uh-oh, I made a big mistake. What you need is to use a 14-3 wire. And that is gonna have a black and a white and a red. So in this situation, we are actually gonna be installing a door in this wall and this will be our entry point. So what I have here is a box. It is a plastic box because it's going on the outside of a house. And in our area, we use vapor barrier on the inside of our homes. And so plastic boxes are really convenient because you can tape your box to the plastic. Also comes with a gasket on it, front, back. It's an air seal as well. So it stops air from moving through the boxes in the electrical system, which is great. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run our three-way, three wire from that box to the other location. All right, now the way this works is really easy. Shove it through that gasket in the back and bring enough wire into the box that you can curl it up and leave it alone until it's time to actually wire this bad boy. Now in our area, electrical code is required. We wanna have a staple within a few inches of the box and then we need a staple or a hole in a stud every five feet. So in this situation, what we're gonna do is go in behind all these studs. We'll add a staple over here because this mess we're just gonna build out and cover it up. We're gonna go to the other side of the wall into the other room, okay? Our renovation plan here requires this wall to be removed. And so that area there is the rest of the house. So the traffic will come through the door, turn the lights on. And if you're going out of the room, you can then turn the lights off for this area. Give yourself extra because you can't splice it together if it's too short. And this 14-3 wire is generally only used for these three-way switch situations. So if you end up with a short piece, it is just garbage. All right. <laughs> there we go. Now. All right, so the way this works, this is the 14-2 wire here entering into the bottom of the box. And this is our 14-3 leaving our first box, traveling over to our other box. We just force this down through the gasket, there we go. Now bend the wire forward and then it'll just push out of the way for you. Again, curl it into place. These boxes are designed that these tabs keep the wire from pulling back out again. All right, so that's brilliant. And this wire is gonna travel up to the first light location that's in our ceiling. Now this area here, we're using a series of pot lights, which is great. And so we're just going to rough to mate where my first light is, which is gonna be somewhat center over the door. And we'll cut that wire. So let's go into the light fixture. There we go. Now it can be helpful to note that when you're drilling your holes for your running your wire, if you make the hole big enough, you can put two wires in the same hole. I like to make a one inch hole for that reason. But be careful to consult with your local code. It may not be the case in every area. Here we go. And of course, every time you run out a new wire, put your staples in as you go. And when you call your inspector, and he sees you've missed a staple, he may not be very kind about it and just fail it and say, call me when you're done. All right, now here's just a quick recap. You have your set power supply to your first location, which is a two wire. You bring a three wire, which is the black, the white, and the red from one box to the other side of the room to your other box. And then you take your supply line from that box to your fixtures, okay? Nice and simple. If you wire it that way, when you go to put on your switches, their three-way switch, light switches are gonna have little black screws. And on those black screws, you put the black wire and everything will work out really easy for you. If you don't put the three wire in this situation, you're gonna run into a whole lot of headache and you're gonna have to open up the walls all over again. So, so remember, when you're doing this kind of work, always drill a nice big hole, use your staples, 
get everything done properly, call for an inspection, okay? Remember, nowadays, most insurance companies, if you have a fire related to work you've done in your own home and you haven't called for an inspection, you will not be covered on your insurance. So do not fool around with this, all right? It is good to have an inspector come in and just confirm you've done it right. And if you've done something wrong and you're nice to him, he'll probably tell you what to fix. In, in this case, I'm renovating my own 1880 farmhouse and that's why I'm doing the wiring. We're actually gonna finish this area up here tomorrow and then call for inspection next week. And if you'd like to see other videos related to this project, then just click the link here and we can see the playlist with all the videos and get up to date.